I'm Savannah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how long have you been singing? I've been singing ever since I was two years old, ever since I could talk. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just have loved singing uh, ever since I was a little girl. Okay, and do you play any instruments? Yes, I play the guitar. I really want to learn how to play the drums, so hopefully I'll play the drums soon. Awesome. And you're kind of, I guess, a YouTube phenomenon is what people would call you. Did you ever think when you uploaded your first video that you'd get such a great response? Not at all. I mean, I was just expecting to post that one video, my first video, which was Listen by Beyonce. Uh, I had no idea that I was going to post another one, and then all these fans started coming in and were like, post more, post more. Because I just created a YouTube to uh, create a little fan base and just to like hear people's feedback. But, um, and then it started getting all these views and channel views, and I kept getting all these subscribers. So I've been pretty lucky with uh, all my YouTube fans because that's where I am. I'm living my dream today. And you do a lot of cover songs, mm -hmm. obviously. What's been your favorite one so far? My favorite cover was probably Seven Things by Miley Cyrus. I really liked doing Crush by David Archuleta too because uh, I gave it kind of a different feel. And same as I Hate This Part by uh, Chris Kendall's. And is there any song that you haven't covered that you really want to? I really want to cover 519 by Matt Wirtz. Uh, it's a really good song, so I'll probably cover that. And I've gotten a special request, so I'll probably do that. All right, and you write songs too. Mm -hmm. What's the hardest part of songwriting? The hardest part of <laughs> songwriting. Okay, wait. The hardest part about songwriting is uh, probably just coming up with like a general idea. I mean, usually you have a good like idea of what you want to write about, but it's kind of hard to put it all into words because usually like there's so much you want to talk about, but you can't talk about it all at once. So that and then coming up with a melody, but usually. Um, Melodies come easier to me than words. <laughs> Do you have a favorite song that you've written so far? A favorite song? Well, I wrote Goodbyes all by myself, and uh, I like that song just because I can really relate to it. But uh, I co-wrote a song with um, Robin Schofield and Will Champlin uh, called Friends, and we wrote it about my best friend's boy problems. So that's probably uh, one of my favorites that um, I've written. <laughs> and where were you the first time you heard yourself on the radio? I was with my best friend Kendra, and um, I think, yeah, I was with her, and we were in the car listening to music, and all of a sudden, goodbyes came on, and we started freaking out. We rolled all the windows down and jumped out of the car, and then I heard it another time with my other best friend, Jenny. And you just released the video for If You Only Knew. Yeah. What was it like making that? So fun. Uh, it took two weekends because uh, Tony came in one weekend and we shot all of his stuff. Then the next weekend uh, was all of my stuff. So hanging out with Tony was a lot of fun. He's super crazy, but uh, he's a really funny guy and really cool. And uh, the rest of the cast was really fun to shoot with as well. We became like a little family on set and uh, it was just a lot of fun. We made a lot of memories. So Did you help awesome. come up with the concept of the video? or? Um, um, Mason Dixon actually came up with the concept. There was a total different concept. Um, like a week before the video was shot, he changed the concept to the one in the video now. But yeah, Mason Dixon uh, directed the music video as well. So he was very smart picking that um, idea. <laughs> and do you have any plans for your own solo album? Yeah, uh, right now I am recording and writing for it. And Hopefully, we can't decide if we want to do like an EP first or put an album out, so uh, we'll definitely put something out for the fans in the next couple of months. And you're about to do some shows. Yeah. Any plans on like a full tour or is it just spot shows? Hopefully. I mean, right now we're just doing one-off shows, but uh, we're putting a tour in the works. Uh, we don't know really who yet, who's coming along, but uh, there's a couple different people in our minds. But uh, yeah, we're coming up with... Um, a lot of one-off shows too. I'm doing a couple with Mitchell Musso and Debbie Ryan's going to come with us too, so that'll be fun. And uh, doing a little Juicy Lee next week, so performing is my favorite, so as much as uh, possible I'd love to tour everywhere. <laughs> and where's your favorite place that you've performed so far? Chicago, definitely. Uh, it's like a cleaner New York and I love New York and Chicago's just amazing and they have really good shopping. So probably Chicago or just New York. I love New York. Where's one place you would love to play? 
Well, I played at the Roxy here in California with Nat and Alex Wolf, and that was so much fun just because I love like the Roxy and it just has so much um, history and uh, it was really cool to perform at. But I would love to perform um, at the Roxy again or at Madison Square Garden for sure. That seems to be everyone's favorite place to perform, but I would love to perform there. And if you could go on tour with anybody, dead or alive, who would you want to tour with? I would want to tour with Ali and AJ. They're like my biggest inspiration and they have such good music. They're coming out with a new album, I hear. So hopefully uh, that could work out. I love them. Or the Beatles. <laughs> and do you have any aspirations to branch out and do like anything else in the entertainment industry? Or? I would like to act, uh, like be on a TV show. I think that would be awesome. And, uh, so hopefully I'll branch out into the acting uh, business. If you could guest star in any show, which, which one would you want to guest star on? Hmm. Hannah Montana. I love Hannah Montana. Or Sunny with the Chance. <laughs> that would be a lot of fun too. Um, Gossip Girl. I love the OC, but it's off now. It doesn't air anymore, but that was my favorite show. So any one of those. Okay. And do you have any message you want to say to your fans? Yeah. I want to thank my fans so much for uh, all of the online support, for voting and um, just being the best. Thank you guys so much for uh, voting for If You Only Knew Now on Radio <laughs> And uh, I love you guys, so thank you.